Okay, in this demonstration, I'm gonna show you how to clean up your wheel. Because maintaining your wheel area is, is very important, especially if we are sharing wheels, um, if we have like two sections. If we only have one section, still want you to clean up, but you don't have to be, you can be as clean as you want to, kind of within reason, you know, with that, um, because you have to deal with the mess. It is a lot easier to clean when everything is already wet than when it's dry. When it's dry, there, there's a trick to cleaning um, of which you get everything. Once it's, if it's completely dry, you get everything wet, let it sit for a couple minutes and come back and it wipes off easily. But like anything, it's just so much easier doing it when, when it's like this. So I'm gonna take my large sponge, I have my bucket of water. Um, and if this is really thick, um, you wanna get clean water. Um, this one's not too bad, although I might end up changing it. Um, but I'm gonna stick my large sponge in there and I'm just gonna wipe down my entire area. So this water is a little dirtier than I thought it was. So um, after I do a couple cleanings on here, I'm probably gonna go switch that water out um, and wipe it down one more time here. But I think it's good enough for this first cleaning. You are given about, you know, about eight minutes um, or so of class time to clean, uh, which should be plenty of time. Actually, I think this is probably good. So I probably won't change my water out. Let me lift this up, set this off to the side. Okay, next step. So I wanna make sure all the clay is out of the inside here. You know, this is all wiped down. This is wiped down. And your table will be wiped down as well. But I wanna clean these tools. Um, and when I clean the tools, I usually use a small sponge. So I'm cleaning the small, small sponge quite a bit. So I have the small sponge right here. Put it in, squeeze it, put it in, squeeze it. And then I go through and I wipe down all of my tools and get all the, the main uh, clay stuff off of it. So I got my needle tool, um, the rubber rib here. Make sure all that's wiped off both sides. Just kind of rinse it there, so that's good enough. Um, double M loop tool, kind of tap it on the inside there. It gets all the clay out of the inside of that, 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 that ribbon where most of the clay is at. It's all cleaned up and my ruler. Good. Now I'm gonna, the sponge is now clean as well because I went in there, squeezed it a couple times. Gonna grab this again, grab my large sponge. And I'm gonna wipe down my table, because your table gets super dirty um, as well. And I even lift the table up to get underneath there just a little bit. And sometimes I'll even move it off to the side and just wipe down that area. Good. So I'm gonna set all the tools out. Um, it's a good way for me to know if I'm missing anything. Um, so I have everything kind of like that. I'm gonna go clean this off and I'll set this off because I know I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven, which is that. Now I'm gonna take you over to the sink and I'll show you how to dump your water out. Okay, now that I have my wheel cleaned up, here's all my dirty water. So we're gonna dump half the water out. So I'm gonna put my hand underneath here just to catch anything that might be um, a little on the thicker side. So once about half the water is out, I'm gonna pull out the container that has all of our water and our, we call it slip inside of it. So this is the bucket. I'm gonna pull this lid off. I look inside of here and I know you can, so I'm just gonna show you. It's already got water in there as well as a bunch of other clay. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna dump that in there. Now, if you have like a failed piece um, at the pottery wheel that's a large chunk of clay, that does not go in here. That goes in the other um, red little red lidded bucket that we have right here um, that we can that we can end up using. Now, if there's a lot of water in here, a shortcut is I could just take my bucket, squish that around in here, and dump that out, um, and it's almost clean. Do that again. 
know, if this if it's all the way up here, and don't don't necessarily do something like that. You'll probably get it all over the place, and this is good. If you don't want to do that or you can't, um, I just go back to the sink again, just put a little bit of water, and swish it around, and clean that up. Okay. Next, we're gonna go back to the sink, and then we have. Um, we, sometimes you can have your large sponge over here. You can grab one of these rags, and then you wipe this down. So obviously, hopefully you'll see that um, typically you clean your wheel first, and then you clean your bucket. Otherwise, you're going to have to clean your bucket twice. Now, if I have any dirty water anywhere, just do a little bit of cleanup right there. Rinse all this off, and I usually just drape that over um, along the side there. Take this back over to your um, wheel, and then you're good for the next day. So make sure that's all clean. Don't dump clay down the sink. It clogs that up, and then we have, a, have an issue. So thank you for your time.